Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how to replace engine block freeze plugs. Sometimes these are also called expansion plugs, core plugs, or welch plugs. Alright, so if you need to replace one of these, you've either had it come out on its own, or like me, you're doing an engine rebuild and you've decided to go ahead and replace these, which is a good idea. So to replace these, in addition to the replacement freeze plugs, you're going to need a hammer, a flathead screwdriver, a pair of pliers, channel lock, something like that, a socket that's about the same diameter as your freeze plug, some coolant safe sealant, and a wire brush or a piece of sandpaper or something like that to clean the hole where the freeze plug goes. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we want to do is we want to take our flathead screwdriver and we want to get it on the side of the freeze plug and what we're trying to try to do here is we're going to hit it with the hammer and that side there's going to push inwards and this side over here should pop out so let's go ahead and do that now and you want to try not to get it to where it falls into the engine block. You want it to do sort of what I did there where it flips out. And then we'll just go ahead and grab it and pull it out with our pliers. So next, take a look inside. See if you see any of the old sealant or anything that's loose that you can just sort of grab and pick out of there. So there's some of that on this one. And then take a wire brush or the sandpaper that you grabbed and just clean the surface inside. And then you can take a paper towel or a shop towel or something and just kind of wipe out that hole, get any of the dust out of there. <sighs> Alright, so next we're going to take our replacement freeze plug and we're going to take a little bit of the sealant. Um, I'm using Permatex water pump thermostat housing sealant. It's coolant safe. And we're going to take a little bit of that and run a small bead of it around the outer edge of this freeze plug and that's going to help us pound it in and it's also going to help make sure that it seals. All right, so next we'll go ahead and put it back in the hole and now we're going to take the socket and the hammer and we're going to go ahead so that socket's about the same size as the inner, inner side of the uh, freeze plug we're going to go ahead and tap that in. And as you do that, you want to make sure that it's going in evenly. If you see one side's going in more than another, switch to the other side and, and make sure you get the other side caught up to that. So we we'll go ahead and pound it in. And then after that, we can see we have some of the sealant that's, you know, sort of gotten all over everything as we've done that. Go ahead and try to, you know, clean some of that out if you want. Not really necessary, but if you want it to be neat. Go ahead and do that. And that's it. That's how you replace a freeze plug. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.